Apalachicola at Seafood Landing Boat Ramp. Super muddy in the bayou. Um, we're headed out to St. Vincent Island. Well, I'm headed out solo. Uh, Mackenzie helped me swap the motor onto the tin cabbage and we're gonna send it out there for uh, sandbar deer, camp in for three or four days, I think, uh, three nights total. And muzzleloader hunt, gotta use a muzzleloader to hunt these Florida elk. So, see what happens. We are loaded down, sending it. Bye, babe. I love you. Bye. I love you. Be safe. Successful sandbar deer hunt. Yes. So I sat all morning in that palm tree, um, saw a couple deer, but no sandbar deer. So carrying my tree stand um, further down this trail um, where I think they're coming from to and from uh, in the mornings and evenings. So yeah, I'm gonna carry my tree stand further back and sit there tomorrow morning. Set up my tree stand over there, and this is what we're looking for right here. Some big tracks.
this pine tree, um, a sandbar, a sandbar deer was coming along this swamp at first light. And it, made, it came right underneath me, basically right there. And then I finally I took a shot. It was right in, in those palm trees over there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's down. I'm pretty sure it went down right in this clump. All right, so there's blood. That's freaking uh, chest high on me. Absolutely stoked. Beautiful stag. Um, it was about, um, I don't know, 75, maybe 100 yards total from where I shot it to where he ran. Not, not probably not 100 yards, but bedded down in this little grassy spot in the swamp and whew, so blessed. All right, so I just want to kind of tell the whole story of how the whole hunt went. Um, I came out here. The night before or the evening before the hunt started that's pretty much when everyone comes out here um i crossed the bay crossed apalachicola bay in a 12 foot john boat and it was it was nasty it was blowing up to 40 mile per hour gusts um everybody that came that evening knew it was nasty um i crossed in a yeah 12 foot john boat um i came i set up my tree stand the first morning um, in like kind of a swampy spot, but not this swampy. Um, didn't see much yesterday, just some white tail does. And in the afternoon after the um, tree stand hours, cause you have to sit in your tree stand for the morning. Um, I came and explored this area and I decided it looked, it looked like the sandbar we're in here. And um, set up my tree stand and I got back in here first light and this thing came right along the edge of a swamp and I put the shot on it and ran back here. Um, I stayed in my stand for another hour and then I got down and came and tracked my my stag. Super stoked. Um, yeah, I came out here on a quest to get a stag and I got one. All right, it's time to start quartering because this thing is the size of a horse and I'm back in the swamp. No way I'm dragging it. I want to dedicate this hunt to Grandpa John. He taught me a lot about hunting, and I'm about to start butchering it with the knife he got me. Grandpa Deer Camp, 2012-24, Holden Fisher, um, from Bark River, Michigan. Got the turkey edition. But yeah, um, thank you, Grandpa, for teaching me so much about hunting, getting back in the swamp, and loving the outdoors. All right, time to, the real work begins now. All right, after six hours of packing out, finally made it to the road. Um, the park service does laps, and if you get one, they, you can throw it in their buggy and head back to camp. If you don't, you gotta walk. But yeah, we made it after six hours of packing out. Got the head, we've got hind quarters, uh, back straps I put in my shirt. I wrapped them up in my shirt. Got hind quarters, um, got shoulders, and another hind quarter. And kept the tail. I'm gonna make some fishing lures with the tail. But yeah, six hours of um, since I shot it. So it took a couple hours to pack it or um, Got it and quarter it, and then a couple out, several hours walking out of the swamp, but made it happen. Super blessed, super grateful. Out here doing it in the smallest boat of the fleet.
We got patches. We got all the meat loaded up. Got the head. We're sending it. All right, so we're loaded up on the boat. Got the sandbar on ice. Um, super awesome people. Everyone was super eager to help. Um, just great experience and nice calm seas to cross the bay today, unlike the other day on the tiny boat. Solo, solo quest. I told my girlfriend I'm going on a quest and she said, you better get one. And well, bringing one home. You've returned! Baby! Baby! Made it back. Um, 12 foot boat across the, the high seas. Got the successful um, quest. And lots of meat. These back straps are massive. We'll be eating good for a while. Super stoked. Everybody was awesome on the island. Everybody was super helpful. Yeah. All right, we got we got the back strap on the counter, doing some nice steaks. It took me, so I shot this thing at like eight in the morning and it took six hours to get it out to the road and about two hours to get everything onto the boat and um, get it checked at the check station and weighed and everything. I got 179 pounds of meat including the head. Um, but yeah, so probably 150 pounds of meat. These back straps are absolutely giant. Um, super good quality meat. I'm doing a little, a little um, tuna tartare. Yeah, baby. And it's fire. And these steaks are looking great. So yeah, super blessed by mother nature. Food on the table for the fam. Fisher Customs. Mm-hmm, Fisher Customs. Sambar deer. High quality meat for the fam, non-GMO. Not lab-grown? Mm-mm, no lab-grown meat. <laughs>